Hello, my name's Ness Tilson and in this video I'd like to show you how to export polyboard cutting lists to an Excel spreadsheet. Here's a simple kitchen project. To export the cutting list for this project into a spreadsheet or any other program that can read a text file, we just go to Cutting Lists ASCII Export. However, before exporting the cutting list, it's a good idea to set up export so that it will be imported into your spreadsheet in the correct manner. For instance, imagine that we want to import the cutting list into a pre-formatted spreadsheet like this. Here we have a spreadsheet set up and we want the cutting list to be imported into the columns here where we've got the cabinet name, the part name, the material, its thickness, quantity, the size of the part and a 1 or a 0 that is going to tell us which of the part's edges have to receive edging material. Let's see how to set up the polyboard ASCII export so that we can import cutting lists directly into our spreadsheet. To set up our ASCII files, I go to Cutting Lists, Cutting List Options. In Cutting List Options, we have an ASCII option with the option Format. I'm going to click on the three buttons and open Format. This opens us a dialog box with two lists. The left-hand list contains all the available items or fields, and the right-hand list contains what is actually going to be written into the ASCII file. To start off, let's just get rid of everything that's in the right-hand list, so we have an empty list. To do that, I'm just going to select the last one and click on this arrow here, which will take the item away from the right-hand list and put it back into the available items list. I'm just going to click on the more and empty the format list so there's nothing in our ASCII format. Now if I go back to our spreadsheet here, let's open our spreadsheet and let's make this spreadsheet a bit shorter, we can see now what columns we need. We can see that the first column we need is the cabinet column. So when we look at our items list, we can see there is one called cabinet. Let's just put that in our list. Either I can just click on cabinet and use this button here, or I can just drag it across onto the format list. So the first item in our ASCII export will be the cabinet item. The next is the part list. Part list for polyboard is what we call the reference. So I'm going to grab reference and drag that over too. The next one is the material that we were using to make the project. So let's just put material here. The next column here is the thickness. So I'm going to take the thickness item and drag it over here. Then the quantity. We have the quantity item. Let's drag it over. Then the length, which is actually called height in polyboard. And then the width. So we have the width. And then we have the edging parameters. So there's a zero or a one to know which edge has got to receive the edging material or not. So starting with the top, we'll have the top edge present parameter. And then we would have the right edge present parameter. And then the bottom edge present parameter. And then the left edge present parameter. So now, we've got all the data that we're going to export. I'm going to make sure here that this what is called a separator is actually a colon. And then just click OK. Now let's take our list away. Now, I'm just going to click OK that, and now let's export the cutting list in the ASCII format. So I'm just going to go to Cutting Lists, ASCII Export. I'm just going to put it onto my desktop under the name of the cabinet with the extension of the file .txt. So I just click OK. The program's going to ask me if I want to put an extension on it, and I'm, I'm going to actually get rid of that extension each time because that is going to add the cabinet name onto the part name. So it will make my part name a bit longer because it will add the cabinet name onto it as well. Okay, right now let's go back into our spreadsheet and let's open up our spreadsheet a bit. This is an Excel spreadsheet so depending on the version of Excel that you're using or whether you're using another spreadsheet program the actual import um, process will be a bit different but this is an Excel spreadsheet so I want to import the polyboard data. I'll select the cell I want to start the import on the upper left hand corner of my data and then I'll go to data, external data, import data. And then I'm just going to choose my ASCII file. So it's on my desktop and it's called nested shelves generic.txt. And I'll open this file. When importing into Excel, 
I've got the choice of how to import it and the files that we're exporting from Polyboard are called delimited files. So select the delimited option, click, select next and then you'll have the dialog box to be able to say what is the character that you're using to delimit the different fields, the different items in our list. What we had was actually a colon. So I'm going to tick the colon box and we can see that the the program actually shows you how it's going to create the columns from the list now here now that looks very good so i'm going to just going to click next i'm going to just click the advanced option and make sure that my decimal separator is set to point so that it will actually know that when there is a point in my text file it's going to use it as a decimal separator i'm going to just going to click ok and then i'm just going to cl click finish now in excel there is an option where Excel can automatically format the width of the cells according to the to the data but we don't really want this because we've already pre-formatted a spreadsheet table so I'm just going to go to properties here and untick adjust the width of the columns to data length I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click OK again and we can see that we've actually imported all our cutting list data into our Excel spreadsheet and the spreadsheet has set all the data up correctly so that we can now use this in our spreadsheet. Once the cutting lists are in a spreadsheet you can manipulate the data to easily create quotes, invoices and other management documents. If you need help setting up Polyboard Export don't forget that you can buy one of our training packages from the one-to-one -one training page of our website and we will help you set up Polyboard and your spreadsheets so they all work smoothly together. Thanks for looking at this video and I hope it's been helpful for you. Goodbye.